In today's video, we are going to be playing on an exact clone of Hypixel Skyblock, but for Pocket Edition and Bedrock. And I'm already stuck in a pit. The first thing I tried to do was escape a hole that I'd just fallen in, but I couldn't use any of the commands, and when I tried to use the help command they recommended, the entire server crashed. I feel like that's going to be a common theme in this clone server, that they're just really trying hard to be iPixel Skyblock, but failing at basically every step of the way. I finally managed to get my own island set up, and it looked very similar to a Hypixel Skyblock island. They had a portal across the side, and a chest with starting materials. Thankfully, there were no minions placed on the island. I didn't see a cobblestone minion, so that's one thing they have going, but they may also have just not bothered designing it, because the menu looked incredibly similar. I saw a lot of things you'd see, like the Skyblock menu, which seemed to have a lot of similar settings, and even things like the recipe book and stuff like that. There was a shop which seemed to be sort of like the bazaar, except I doubt it varies based on what actual players are trying to buy, and it had things like teleport spawn and other things that would let me use it. Unfortunately, I was playing on mobile and it kept telling me to right click, and it was very hard to open the menu every time. So, let's take a look at the hub. To go to the hub, I started like you would in Hypixel Skyblock. I broke down the available tree, and decided to try to bridge over to the weird portal that they had constructed on the other island opposite from me. Bridging in Bedrock is really weird, specifically Pog Edition, and I did not understand it at all. Well, I successfully went through the portal and ended up in the hub, where I saw a lot of similarities. A lot of the buildings were the same, and even some of the NPCs were exactly the same. They had the same sort of center thing where you could jump in to, I'm assuming, getting to your island. I really don't want to try to jump in there again. Okay, I'll try it one more time, and where am I? Okay, there, we're, we're at our island. It's a bit glitchy, as you can see, because this is a very low-quality server, if you hadn't already realized. It's just blatantly cloning Hypixel and not doing a very good job of it. I don't recommend you use these servers. They're just stealing from Hypixel. It's not really a good thing to be doing. Hey, at least they didn't use Hypixel's map. They did rebuild their own map, even if they did steal every single part of the game. Another thing I kept noticing is that the menus in Bedrock, I'm not sure if this is a Bedrock thing or just the server, are really weird. They open up an entire menu rather than it being, like, the UI of an inventory. Which is sort of interesting, but makes the game feel worse for some reason. And maybe it's just because I'm used to Java, but the next thing we're going to check out is the Bazaar, which, if you haven't noticed, is exactly the same skin. Like, exactly the same. It looks identical with the same name, the same UI, except this is not what the Bizarre UI looks like, is it? No. You can sell the thing in your hand, except it didn't correctly sell the thing in my hand, and it doesn't look like you can actually buy items based on what other people are selling them at. It just seems like it's a merchant that you can sell most items at, but for some reason, I can't sell wheat, which is very strange. It seems to be very broken and is not a great use of time. Next thing is the Banker, which, yup, right again, is the exact same skin. It does have an interesting UI. I actually prefer this Bank UI to the Skyblock one, which is interesting. But, I can withdraw coins. I don't have any coins there. I can deposit coins, just like I would on Skyblock. There, okay. I mean, it worked. You can't expect much from the bank. I'm not sure if there's interest or anything. But yeah, you can see a Lumber Merchant there. Oh, Money Leaderboard, of course. This is how they're gonna get people to spend a lot of real-life money on the game. Gotta put a leaderboard up there. I decided to go off in an interesting direction towards the enchanters and stuff like that to see what else the game had to offer. I was beginning to recognize certain things like that structure off to our left seems like it might be like the coal mines from Skyblock. Over here it seems like they have like enchanting stuff. But let's go over this direction. I want to see what the mines look like. And I reached them and they seem to be called the Deep Caves, which is really you couldn't put your own effort into renaming the Deep Caverns the Deep Caves. Like, come on. And it looks actually very different, which was surprising, until you enter it. Where you get the exact distinct feel that you were getting from the Ibexel Skyblock one with two things heading off in two different directions. And gold or iron or coal or on the first floor. I'm sure there's a lift operator or a way to get between floors somewhere here. I just haven't found it yet. And I'm not going to bother looking, because why? Why? Why do this? Why not just make your own game? Well, I went back to the hub, maybe let's check out this less, Let's PvP guy. But, it quickly became obvious that, one, this is a kits game, which means that even if I did want a PvP, I would be competing against people that had spent hundreds of dollars to get way overpowered stuff, which is never fun on a PvP server, and the fact that there was literally no one in the PvP area, so 
who was I going to play against anyway? Pretty much no one. So, I decided once again that that was a no-go. I next headed off to the tree area, where there were actually some trees, which was nice. Um, it was interestingly designed, but let's see if, if this is the equivalent of the oak, if they have their own version of the entire park. They do seemingly have their own version of the graveyard right next to the oak area, just like in actual Hypixel Skyblock. Oh, and I think I see the portal to go to the park. Okay, so let's go through this. There's no text this time, so I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay, so it seems like we're in a jungle area where all of the trees are chopped down, which is a bad sign, and I don't see them regenerating. So let's head on over to what looks like the birch area next. And of course, all of the trees here are gone too, which is not a great sign for these foraging islands. Um, yeah, where are any trees that I can chop down? I don't really see any. So let's keep going on to the next foraging island where it'll probably be the exact same story. Except for the fact that this warp pad doesn't seem to work and I just fell into the void. Next, let's check out their version of the auction house. And when I clicked on it, nothing happened. It just said, give me help for commands. Because there doesn't seem to be an auction house. Which is unsurprising, because I have not seen a single other player on this server yet. Which maybe says something about Bedrock Hyvexel Skyblog clones. I don't know. But they do have their own farm area, where I can punch wheat just as I would on Hyvexel Skyblock. So that's very good. And you see, I'm getting skill XP, according to that little ticker on the bottom. So that's interesting, I guess. Just like Hypixel Skyblock, they have their own farming islands, which are, I mean, kind of the same. It's just some wheat, some carrots, then some hay, and some pumpkins, and some melons. I'm not really seeing anything revolutionary here. Oh, and another tree that has the bottom chopped off of it. But yeah. Oh, I seen my first player, I think, off in the distance. Or no, that's just another NPC leading to another island. Ah, coming soon. It really is like Hypixel. They even have coming soon. Oh. Never mind, they're coming soon islands, just say coming soon, and then they work. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe that's a glitch, but when I go over here, it does actually seem to just be similar to the old mushroom desert, in terms of what stuff they have. They've got a cave with mushrooms, um, they've got some sand, cactus, stuff like that. However, I am not allowed to break things, which seems to be a flaw on the farming island. Let's go over to their blacksmith. Hopefully they have reforges or something. Of course not. It's basically an anvil that you can spend money on. However, it seems that the wizard tower has been released as the enchanter that gives you weird enchants that I can't use because I don't have anything to put them on. And just as you would see with any bad Minecraft server, here are some crates. Of course they're crates. Crates are always a bad sign because it means it's probably a pay to win server. Which means that we should probably end off this video. I am not going to support this server. I don't think you should either. Besides, it probably won't exist in a few days. I don't know. I'm never playing it again. So, I'll see you guys in the next Hypixel Skyblock video that will be on the real Hypixel Skyblock. Goodbye.